Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Lindsay with Evergreen Intuitive Tarot. Today I'm gonna to do an all signs reading, Aries through Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Today we're gonna to see who or what is coming towards you. This could be by the end of the year, this could be next year, this could be within the, few month, the next few months. If I get timing or any details, um, I will certainly pass them along to you, but that is not guaranteed. A couple things before we get started, guys. First of all, remember, if something doesn't fit or resonate or feel right in one of your readings or one of your placements, that means it's not meant for you. Not every reading is meant for you. So leave what doesn't resonate here, what doesn't resonate here with someone else and take what does. Also, feel free to check all of your placements to get a well-rounded idea of what may or may not be coming your way. Uh, next, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I sing because I channel music, I curse like a sailor, and I don't sugarcoat things. So if that feels like your vibe, I think you'll find a nice, comfy new home here. We laugh and we have a really good time, so welcome. If you're an OG, welcome back. Thank you for your continued love and support. Speaking of love and support, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so by clicking on the description box below and shooting me an email, and I will send you my menu. With all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started with Aries. Spirit, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards Aries? What do they need to know? Oh, you got three cards right away. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. I don't know if it's you or someone else, Aries, but there you go. Target, a goal-oriented person. Sounds very Aries to me. And heart, love, deep affection, and caring. So love and romance is in the air. Heart chakra, heart space is wide open. But there's someone around you that is behaving stupidly. This could be at work. This could be in romance. Um... I see you definitely being goal oriented because it's in the middle there. Let's see if there's any more messages for you. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Aries? What do they need to know? Two cards, please. Aries, who or what is coming towards Aries? There we go. You got mature woman and message. So I do feel like you're gonna be the, the woman or the person that's acting stupidly could be a mature woman. This could be, like I said, work. This could be a mother, an aunt, a grandmother. This could be a lover, a sibling. I don't know. But there is a message coming in. And I do feel like um, the target kind of reminds me of Cupid and with the heart. Um, also, the wax seal kind of looks like a heart. So I do feel like you can expect a message um, from a love interest. This could be on Messenger. This could be an actual love letter. This could be an email. I, I don't know exactly what that's going to look like for you. It's going to be different for everyone. Uh, let's see what the cards have to say. Spirit, can we please have four cards for who or what is coming towards Aries? What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. This is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them? You have the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay. So this is incompatible. This is not seeing eye to eye. This is the end of a romantic partnership. Um, this could involve a mature woman, like a mother figure. So that's the first thing that's coming to mind or somebody was involved with an older woman. Um, but I feel like the end of the relationship is due to someone's poor behavior and maybe even a mature woman. Spirit, three more cards. Who or what is coming towards Aries? What do they need to know? Aries, three more cards. You got the nut. Ooh, you got the Knight of Wands. You got the Nine of Swords. Let's get one more, and then we'll clarify. Thank you. And the High Priestess. Secrets here. Somebody's stressed out about a secret. Somebody may be stressed out because they want to reach out. I feel like there could have been um, a connection here that was incompatible or lacked love. Maybe one person was expressing more love than the other. Uh, maybe the other person, it was strictly sexual. But I see Knight of Wands is very confident, driven, um, coming in fast. Nine of Swords is stress and anxiety. High Priestess is the occult and secrets and silence and, um, you know, absorbing and, and uh, what is that word? Um, Kind of just taking it all in and keeping more to yourself than you give. This is someone who's experiencing some extreme spiritual enlightenment. I do feel like somebody here may feel, somebody, I feel like somebody may be seeing somebody in their dreams or somebody's having some sort of um, kind of metaphysical experience here that may be freaking them out. I don't know if somebody's seeing apparitions or having nightmares or just really lucid dreams. All right, spirit wise, the two of cups here in reverse for Aries. Tell me about the two of cups in reverse, please. The 
Seven of Wands. So somebody may have just been too um, blocked off or somebody was um, behaving stupidly, like not, not taking other people's feelings and, and um, opinions into consideration. Also, this could be blocking someone. So you could end up blocking someone that you're having a falling out with. Uh, could be a mature woman, could be a love interest, or somebody could be blocking you. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is that here for Aries? Why is the Knight of Wands here for Aries? Knight of Wands here for Aries, please. Do we have a flipper? We did not. Knight of Wands. High Priestess again. I feel like there's somebody that may want to come in and talk to you, but they fear that either you won't accept them or they could be blocked or maybe they think that, um, I'm getting some people don't know how to express their feelings or express, express their love. So they fall back on charm and um, sexual chemistry. And I feel like there's more below the surface. Um, I'm hearing what lies beneath. So somebody may come in all hot and charming and fast, but I feel like there's more to that. There's a reason why. I don't know if they feel like they have to. I don't know if this is just how they're used to expressing their love. I don't know. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Aries? I definitely feel like you guys are gonna be working a lot on your spirituality, doing a lot of meditation, getting a lot of readings. Temperance, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius. I feel like some of you guys may be dealing with some, um, I don't know, mental health issues or some depression or anxiety. Uh, you could be trying things out with your therapist, um, you know, me uh, medicine therapy, things like that. And I feel like you're finally going to get it right. Whatever the dosage, that's going to be for like one person. I feel like it's finally going to be right. But I see some alchemy here. I see trying, trying different things on. This is optimism. This is um, divine timing. Also, some of you guys are having really lucid dreams. I'm hearing dream journals. So you guys need to write them down so that you can meditate on them later. Um, you see her with the scroll open here. She's got the scroll. So um, yeah, make sure you're, you're keeping your dreams down in a journal so you can reflect on them, especially if they're keeping you up at night or you're having nightmares or seeing like um, people that have passed away in your dreams. Keep a journal. Why is the High Priestess here for Aries? I feel like whoever's coming in to um, express deep love and affection has been feeling this way about you for a while, but is just now able to come towards you. I feel like this has been something they had to keep hidden for a long time. This could be something that somebody that you've broken up with in the past. Maybe there were some secrets, some blocking. Maybe a mature woman got in the way, but it's like now is the time. King of Pentacles, look at that. Someone wants to come in and offer stability. See, in the past, maybe it was Knight of Wands, and now maybe it's more King of Pentacles. Also, you could have two options, Aries. You could have an option between an Earth sign and a Fire sign. The Fire sign would be a little less mature. The King of Pentacles is definitely career focused. I feel like your money is going to be looking really good. I do feel like, um, like I said, if you're trying to, you know, get a right dosage or um, I'm hearing um, circadian, um, circadian rhythm. So some of you are trying to nail that down. I just feel like you guys are trying different approaches and trying to figure things out um, because there's a lot that's stressing you out. And I do feel like you're going to be able to cut people off. Uh, that you need to cut off. You're going to be able to nail down your mental health and emotional health. You're going to be able to nail down a sleep schedule. Your career is going to be looking good. There is love coming in, but there's also someone behaving stupidly, but I feel like you will have no problem with two of cups reverse and seven of wands, like cutting that shit out. Like if somebody is behaving stupidly in the near future for you, Aries, they're out of here. Okay. That is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Aries, as always, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Get rid of this deck. I don't need you today. All right. This next reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Taurus? What do they need to know? Three cards, please. Taurus. Taurus. Thank you. Of course it would fall on the floor. Fair woman, 
dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. I also like to add red hair because red hair is definitely fair. Sun could be a Leo. Happiness and well-being. And then you've got younger woman. So Taurus, I feel like you're dealing either with two women this, uh, you know, coming up, or it could be one woman. She could be fair and younger, but this is dealings or relationship with a younger woman. On the bottom, we have Rose. Romance is in the air. Some of you may be pursuing a romantic love interest that is younger and fair. Others of you, this could just be friends, coworkers that are going to play a part in this. But for a lot of you, I feel like um, you're going to be going after or being pursued by someone who is younger and more fair than you. Spirit, two cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Taurus. Look at that. Just to, oh, you got three. Well, I'm going to put them back in because I only want two today. Two cards for Taurus. Some of you could be traveling. I saw Distant Horizons. Two cards for Taurus. Two cards for Taurus. Man, these cards are being stubborn today, y'all. Tell you what. Here we go. Let me do it like Tyler, Tyler's Tarot. Message of concern. So you could be getting a message of concern from a fair woman. Privileged lady. So privileged lady is like um, someone that has kind of been um, not necessarily fed with a silver spoon, but this is someone who is not struggling financially. This is someone who's very attractive, privileged lady. Um, you have a lot of women here on the table. So I don't know if this is friends, family, it is the holiday season. Now you can switch the roles around. So let's say you're a, a female Taurus and you're watching this. Um, you know, these could represent you or you, whatever. It is what it is. Um, but there is a message of concern coming in. This is something that um, is kind of jarring and gets your attention. Privileged lady. Felix, like I'm hearing doesn't stay single for long, like that Fergie song. So I don't know if there's a woman, a, a message of concern about a woman who's younger and fair, who um, seems to always kind of have what she needs, always has, is very attractive, wears nice clothes, you know, has a great job. Um, Happiness right in the middle. I feel like if anybody here has been struggling with any illness, that's going to be getting better. Sun is right in the center. Let's see what the cards have to say. Spirit, this is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four cards, please, for who or what is coming towards them. Hanging Man, Pisces Energy. So this is waiting around. This is kind of self-sacrificing. This is, um, this can also be, um, what is that word? Um, uh, crap, what is the word that's escaping me? Don't be a martyr. This is martyrdom. Somebody may be being a martyr. Two of swords, difficult decision, refusing to see the truth, um, ignorant. Two more cards for Taurus, please. Who or what is coming towards them? It's like hard to see clearly. Knight of Wands, definitely some chemistry attraction. There's a there's a really brazen energy. My right ear is ringing, which means that I'm getting a download and I probably have tinnitus. <laughs> One more card for Taurus. Who or what is coming towards them? Judgment. Woo! So this could be a reconciliation. I feel like there could be a relationship from the past that someone here is trying to um, reignite with the Knight of Wands, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone here is having like a come to Jesus moment. Okay. Someone's been waiting, waiting, waiting for the right time, undecided if they should take action, undecided if they should say something, if they should, whatever. But it's like, okay, all of a sudden it's time. Uh, Knight of wands taking action, judgment day, judgment. This is a judgment call. This is a good judgment call. This is, um, freedom. This is following a divine calling. Somebody here is, is feeling divinely called to do something or pursue someone or something that is going to make them very happy. Could be a younger person, a fair person. And I feel like there definitely could be some communication, but there has been silence with the hanging man or waiting, or it's just Pisces energy. Also have Scorpio energy here with judgment. Spirit, can you please clarify these cards for Taurus? Why is the hanging man here? Why is the hanging man here? I'm seeing someone with a cigarette in their mouth, so I don't know if somebody smokes cigarettes in this or maybe a joint. 
Page of Pentacles. So this is testing the water. This is waiting for the right opportunity, okay? Um, waiting for a hint, waiting for um, money to get better. This could also involve a child. Somebody here could have a young child. But the page is very young, um, immature energy, meaning that it's not anything stable, but it's like showing interest, right? Hey, you wanna go on a date? Here, hey, here's a gift. Hey, I apologize for that one thing. Um, somebody here has been waiting maybe for an apology, waiting to reach out to someone. Why is the Two of Swords here for Taurus, please? There's a, definitely an apology or a, some kind of communication. Look at that, more communication. Two of Swords, so we're going from the Two of Swords to the Page of Swords, which tells me that someone is making a decision, someone is deciding to come forth, and somebody is curious here. Um, I feel like someone is tired of looking through this veiled curtain, tired of trying to um, piece things together on their own. Instead, they're just gonna come out and ask, or they're just going to reach out, okay? Could be dealing with an earth sign, could be dealing with a um, an air sign, or Pisces, or Scorpio. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Taurus, please? Four of Wands, this could be somebody that you've lived with, that you were married to, that you want to live with or marry, or they feel that way about you. Um, this is also fourth house energy, which is Cancer, so you could be dealing with a Cancer. But I feel like um, somebody could invite somebody to a wedding. Um, somebody could, you could meet somebody at a wedding. Some of you guys could hook up with somebody at a wedding. <laughs> but for a lot of you guys, I feel like somebody's coming in, rushing in after some time of not knowing if they should say anything, if they should do anything, if they could say or do anything. Somebody's coming in hot to express that they may want like a stable new beginning or move in or get married or reconcile. Why is the judgment card here for Taurus? Why is judgment here for Taurus? Thank you. Six of Pentacles. So this talks about giving and receiving. This is reciprocity. This is balance, generosity, and uh, also charity. I feel like somebody could reach out and be like, hey, um, I know maybe before I couldn't give you what you deserved, um, but now I'm ready. Now I have everything that I need, however, um, if you look at this card, Taurus, there is someone over here being left out while this person is giving to this person. So I don't know if someone would be choosing this connection over another. This could also be a job situation. This is somebody being chosen. Okay, this is somebody choosing to invest their time and money with one person over another. I do feel like there's messages that are going to be exchanged, lots of them. Um, I do feel like the messages aren't going to be hot and heavy, but it's like once you guys decide to connect and move forward, it's going to be a wrap. Um, that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Taurus, thank you for being here. I love and appreciate you and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, next up we have Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? You got tower, solid foundation, success with effort. You got November. So the month of November, something either happened in November or um, you're dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius or, um, you know, I feel like the, this month of no, this past November was prevalent for some reason. Basket on the bottom, which is good. That means money's looking good. You got four. I'm going to take them. Excitement. And then tortoise is slowly but surely getting ahead. So a lot of you guys are making moves um, money moves or career moves or relationship moves and it feels like it's taking forever and the reason it's taking forever is because it has to okay but you are getting ahead you are making the right moves making the right decisions at this time Gemini uh, excitement I don't know if something ha exciting happened in November or something exciting is coming your way there's excitement coming your way that has something to do with the month of November I don't know what that means for you guys spirit who or what is coming towards Gemini what do they need to know two cards please Gemini. We have sudden wealth. Look at that. One more. Some of you guys could be gambling and winning big, or this could be like a scratch off or a lawsuit. Look at that, an unexpected income. Holy crap. Talk about tower, solid foundation. Some of you guys could be getting a completely unexpected promotion or raise. This is a lump sum of money. This could also be an inheritance. Also, I feel like if some of you guys are investing, um, you could it could go crazy like out of nowhere. Buy low, sell high. You know what they mean. Or you know what they say, I mean. Anyways, unexpected income. This does kind of look like the six of pentacles, doesn't it? This is looking good. I feel like some of you guys made moves around November that's going to pay off or something happened in November that's going to pay off. 
Very interesting. Unexpected income and sudden wealth. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Hmm. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Gemini? What do they need to know? What did we have flip? We had two cards flip. So we have Queen of Swords and the Fool. Some of you guys could have ended things with an Aries or with someone who was just generally foolish, didn't know what they wanted. Let's see, or you will be. I feel like somebody here is willing to like cut off anything from the past because they want somebody here, and I feel like it's you, I feel like you want effort, you want success, and you know that you have to sacrifice something to get that success. So it's like in order to, some of you guys could be moving, starting a whole new career. Um, death, Scorpio energy. Also, this is your card, Queen of Swords. Fool and death, starting over. King of Swords in reverse. Look at that. Some of you guys were dealing with an air sign, so Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or just a person who was emotionally detached, emotionally unavailable, kind of a dick, dishonest. Oh my goodness. King of Swords and Queen of Swords are on the table, so it does look like on the surface it's a good match, but when you get down to the nitty gritty, it was not a good match. This person was, like I said, emotionally unavailable, unkind, short, bad temper, dishonest, didn't know what they wanted. There is an ending coming up, a new beginning and an ending. Transformation, Scorpio energy. Spirit, why is the Queen of Swords here for Gemini? Why is the Queen of Swords here for Gemini? Is that death again? Yep. You decided to end something, you're gonna be ending something, quite possibly with a Scorpio or an air sign. Why is the fool here? It's because like you know you need to, look at that judgment. Oh my gosh, this person may try to get you to start over with them. This is about um, reconciliation. Oh my gosh, but you guys are hearing the you guys are hearing a divine calling. You're hearing you're being called to go somewhere else. You're being called to do something. And I feel like this calling could have started around November. Okay, and I feel like whatever this move is, it's gonna be very exciting. Why is the death card here for Gemini? Yeah, had to end it because it was too much, too much stress, too much burden. So some of you are leaving a job or leaving a relationship, point blank. Um, this is the end of it, that you're, you're putting the burden down, you've waited long enough. Maybe some of you have the money now, or maybe you got a new offer with better money, or maybe you guys were finally able to get out of a marriage or get out of a really city, shitty situation. Why is the King of Swords here in reverse? It's been a slow but sure process and you've been making efforts, so you will experience success. That is a guarantee. Page of Swords. Some of you could share a child. That's not for all of you. Um, I do feel like this person is gonna reach out or this person may be watching you online. Also, I feel like if you're gonna make any big moves, Gemini, this person is catching wind of it and they may reach out to you, okay? Um, I feel like you made the right move. This is a huge, huge ending and new beginning for you. You have death twice and the full and judgment. That is insane. You are in your power right now. You're making very, very difficult decisions with grace. Gemini, this is absolutely incredible. Um, I'm a little jealous of Gemini right now. You're, you're, you're setting boundaries. You're cutting motherfuckers out of your life, cutting jobs out of your life, cutting people out of your life that don't serve you, that are holding you back. And you are slowly but surely getting ahead and you got some money coming towards you. So good for you, Gemini. That is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Gemini, as always, I love you and I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. Before we get started with cancer, I need to take off my hoodie because I'm about to it's too hot up in here. It's spicy. Okay, that's better. All right, Cancer, how you doing? Let's see what's going on for my Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards them? What does Cancer need to know? Thank you. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Clouds. Temporary problems. You know what? Everything is temporary, the joy and the pain. So don't get too emotionally attached to any of it because it's not here for long. One more card for cancer, please. <sighs> cancer, one more card. What do they need to know? What's coming towards them, spirit? Success. I'm not taking this one because it's face down. Success. 
See, look, it's like, um, I'm hearing that song. Can you stand the rain? Uh, and I feel like if you're able to navigate these clouds with grace, uh, it will bring you success. That's simple. Um, now, there could be somebody entering your life that's going to make your life a little more difficult. Or maybe you're going to be helping them with their temporary problems, but if you, if you can navigate this well, new person and the temporary problems, I feel like you're going to be rewarded with success, whatever that looks like to you, okay? Spirit, this is for Cancer. Who or what is coming towards Cancer? What do they need to know? Two cards, please. Cancer. You got child, so this does involve a child. Your child, their child, a new child. Adjudication. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with a baby mama, baby daddy. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with um, the law in some capacity, especially with custody. Um, it could be some temporary problems. Could be around this adjudication or around this child. But at the end of it is success. So just hold on. Just hold on. Nothing lasts forever, okay? Someone new entering your life. Some of you could be adopting a child or could be having somebody adopt your child. Interesting. All right, Spirit, this is for Cancer, Sun and Rising and Venus. Who or what is coming towards Cancer, please? What do they need to know? Who or what is coming towards Cancer? What do they need to know? Eight of Coins in reverse. Something's not working. Also, somebody could have dropped out of school or you could be um, changing career or changing focus. This is shifting focus. Also, do be mindful that the eight of coins can also, in, in reverse, can be distraction. So some of you could be, you know, working from home and constantly distracted by your child or maybe there's somebody new in your life that's got you distracted. Spirit, what else is coming towards cancer? What do they need to know? Three more cards, please. Nine of cups. This is happiness. This is a wish being fulfilled or granted. For some of you, this could be drinking. So, um... Some of you could be drinking to kind of help cope with these temporary problems. Or if your child has, you know, left the home or is with someone else. Queen of Swords. This could be like a judge. This could be an ex-wife or ex-partner. Um, someone who has to make tough decisions. Somebody that's a little emotionally detached. One more card. And the Eight of Cups. Walking away, leaving a situation behind. All right, let's clarify these and then I'll read them for you, Cancer. Spirit, why is the Eight of Coins here in reverse for Cancer? Tell me more about the Eight of Coins in reverse, please. Some of you guys, I feel like you've been holed up in your, your home office or in your, you know, in your workspace. A lot of us work from home. I know I work both of my jobs from home and I'm a full-time mom. Um, but some of you guys are like coming out of that. Like you've been so like a workaholic um, and you're ready to have some fun, okay? Maybe even um, embrace like your childlike nature. Why is the eight of coins here in reverse for cancer, please? Judgment. Some of you are feeling led to study something else, start something new, new career, new um, investments, new way of spending your time. Um, this is judgment with adjudication. This could have something to do with the law, like I said, or this could have something to do with a, a relationship that ended. Maybe some of you guys are going to have a little bit more free time now. Why is the nine of cups here? Ten of coins. Very happy. I feel like, um, family life is going to be going well. I feel like somebody here is going to be getting some advice from an older man, um, about family life or about investing, I feel like you guys are going to be very happy with your money situation coming up. Very, very happy. Money's looking great, Cancer. Also, I feel like you guys are, um, you're focused on stability at this time. Creating a really stable home life. One that you can enjoy. Some of you guys could be renovating a home. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Cancer, please? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Two of coins in reverse. Too much to keep up with. This is an imbalance. This is hard um, having a hard time remaining flexible or balancing everything. So maybe this queen of swords is stepping in, um, to take something off of your plate, or you could be the queen of swords, cutting people off, cutting people out, cutting extraneous expenses, cutting, you know, anything that doesn't serve you and your higher purpose is getting cut out. Why is the eight of coins or sorry, the eight of cups here for cancer? 
What are we walking away from? Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are leaving a long-term relationship, long-term partner, baby mama, baby daddy, someone that you uh, could be an earth sign. There are two queens on the table here. So I do feel like um, there could be two energies that you're dealing with. One definitely would be like a long-term, you know, mother or father of your child situation. And others for you, others of you, I feel like it could be walking away from a job that no longer serves you. Queen of Pentacles and Two of Coins could both be about um, job and sustenance. So anyways, you're making hard decisions. You're leaving some things behind in pursuit of, you know, um, success. Somebody new is coming into your life. And I feel like this person coming in is going to kind of shift your perspective on what you want. Um, they're going to kind of wake you up a little bit, judgment. Um, and make you realize maybe you do want the long-term stable partnership in home. Maybe you aren't happy at your current job. Maybe you're tired of putting up with the shit that you've been putting up with. And I feel like you're going to be making big decisions and it looks good on you. <laughs> okay, so that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. Cancer, as always, I love you. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in your next placement or reading. Take care. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Leo? What do they need to know? What does Leo need to know? Spirit, three cards. Funnel, period of frustration and lessons to be learned. Two more cards for Leo, please. Target, a goal-oriented person. Aries got the same exact card in the same placement, so you could have Aries in your chart or be dealing with one. Goals. One more card for Leo, please. Thank you. Not. Unsuccessful plans. My goodness. So I do feel like coming up, there's going to be some things falling through that maybe you had your hopes up on. Let's try to manage our expectations. Okay. Manage your frustration, manage your expectations. Um, I feel like having a target and having goals, or I feel like some of you guys could be finding a mentor or could just be very goal oriented in the coming future. It's going to help you navigate the frustrations and the unsuccessful plans. Um, just remember with the unsuccessful plans that rejection is God's protection. So if you're being rejected or if something isn't coming through for you, it's either not time or it's not right for you. Okay. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? What do they need to know? Two cards, please. You have sudden wealth. I think uh, Taurus also got that. Maybe Gemini. Sudden wealth. Some of you could be playing a scratch off, playing the lottery, could be winning a prize, an inheritance. One more card for Leo, please. This could be investments, a lawsuit. And courthouse, definitely could be a lawsuit. Um, some of you guys could be uh, dealing with the court system for any number of reasons. Um, could be workman's comp, could be a lawsuit, could be um, custody, could be criminal, could be probate. I don't know, but there are some plans here that, that are going to be unsuccessful. I don't know if, if that involves the court, but I feel like the sudden wealth does. Goal-oriented person. This is very interesting energy. Let's pull some cards. Spirit, this is for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them? What does Leo need to know? Look at that, knight of coins. Slow, steady, cautious. This is a stable new opportunity. This could be a new job, new promotion. This could be an uptick in income. Earth sign. Three more cards for Leo. This is someone dependable or you being dependable. Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with an anger bitch. <laughs> this could be a baby mom, baby dad. This, is, this could be a judge or an attorney. This could be you. You could be really, really angry right now, but... Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who is um, emotionally detached, withdraws communication out of anger, uh, gives the silent treatment, is dishonest, no sense of humor, very cold. Page of Coins in reverse could definitely be custody related or involve a child. Um, I feel like that if this involves a child, then um, Leo, I feel like Whoever is hopeful, whoever um, is trying to get custody, or who obviously both, usually both parents try to get custody, but I feel like there's someone here who's angry and cold and detached, and there's somebody else who's really hopeful and can offer really good um, 
environment for the child. I feel like right now the, the child is unhappy and they're gonna be granted, um, this Knight of Coins is gonna get custody, but I, I, I know that this is really channeled and I, if this doesn't apply to you, just click off or just fast forward a few seconds. But anyways, I have to say this. Whoever this person is, this kid looks just like them. This person, no. This kid looks just like the Knight of Coins. So if this is your situation, you can, I, I had to get that out. They wouldn't let me not say it. What else is here for Leo? King of Coins in reverse. So um, somebody may have to pay a lot of money for representation, legal representation. Also, I do feel like this could be a loss of a job, a loss of a position. This could also be a case not going your way. Just have to say it. Um, also, this could definitely be divorce. Queen of Swords in reverse, King of Coins in reverse. I feel like there's a um, there's some bad news here. Or there's a, some unsuccessful plans. Here it is right here. And I feel like it's got something to do with the courthouse. I don't know if this is, um, you know, if it's a divorce, then I feel like somebody may not be getting what they were hoping for in the settlement. If this is custody, I feel like somebody may not be getting what they wanted. Let's see what fell out. Page of Cups upright. So this is good news. Could be two children here. Water sign, earth sign. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse, please, for Leo? Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse for Leo? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. You could have cancer in your chart, could be dealing with one. This could also involve the home. Um, I feel like um, this, there's a time of deliberation is about to be up. If there's been silence, if there's been a standstill, if there's been a delay that's about to end. Um, I do feel like this has something to do with a car or the home. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse may want to keep the house if the house was up for, you know, in, in, in the divorce. Anyways, this is forward movement. I feel like um, any stagnancy is about to be broken. Why is the page of coins here in reverse for Leo? Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, unsuccessful plans, now I'm seeing, I feel like there could have been someone here, Leo, that wanted to offer someone commitment and they weren't interested in commitment. Um, or like the, the sexual connection wasn't there or like there was a lack of passion. Somebody here wanted a passionate new beginning, something stable and committed and it didn't go as they wanted. Leo, and I feel like that's you. I feel like you wanted to start something with someone and it didn't go as you had intended or wanted it to. Queen of Cups, there's big feelings here. I feel like you've been to, I'm here, um, if you've been to someone's house, I feel like you have feelings for someone you've been to their house. What is that? They could have a child. Oh Lord, this reading is all over the freaking place. Don't listen to me today. Um, Leo, I see you being involved in the court system for whatever reason, probably custody or divorce. I see this being frustrating for you, but there's a lot to be learned. If you can remain graceful and open, there is a lot to learn here. I feel like goals would serve you well. There is sudden wealth coming to you by way of, like I said earlier, um, investments, um, inheritance, lawsuit, payoff, promotion, whatever. Um, unsuccessful plans. I do feel like you were unsuccessful in your pursuit of a committed relationship with someone, possibly a fire sign or a water sign. Um, and I feel like there's an angry bitch around you that's probably like a baby mama, baby daddy, or an ex-wife, ex-husband, maybe using the kids or money um, against you. But I feel like you're going to navigate it well. I feel like you're going to be open. You're going to be tender. Page of Cups. I do feel like you're going to be flirting with someone. And I do see you have feelings for here, feel, for feelings for someone that are going to be growing in the near future. Okay, Can't, uh, Leo, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Leo, I love you and I appreciate you being here. I will see you soon. Take care. All right. Next up, we have Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? They're telling me this deck. Who or what is coming towards Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Vine, seek out information that will help you. I feel like some of you guys are um, looking for ways to better your health or um, looking for a new job. 
fly, a period of ill health or depression. So some of you guys may be going through it because of the holidays right now, it's a really stressful time. Maybe finances are tight or you're not feeling so good. Also with COVID, that wouldn't be surprising if you know somebody wasn't feeling well. Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life, my goodness. Some of you guys may be reading some self-help books coming up, um, doing some research, asking some people around you that you trust, getting some information about things that can help you. Some of you may be looking up Eastern medicine or holistic um, approaches or metaphysical approaches to your dissatisfaction or depression or um, period of ill health. Let's see what the Kipper deck has to say. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Virgo in the near future, please? Honey, I'm hearing honey. Family room. So I do feel like there could be some family issues going on right now or somebody in the family is ill or depressed, doesn't have to be you, but I feel like whoever is ill or depressed, it's going to be affecting you. Also, I feel like some of you may be um, hearing some information or, or doing some research on something about the family. Maybe there's some secrets that you don't understand or a dynamic that's troubling and you're, you're looking things up, seeking out could maybe even therapy, resources. One more card for Virgo, please. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Virgo, Virgo. Thank you. Gift, oh, how apropos. Some of you guys, this could be quite possibly talking about Christmas morning if you celebrate um, opening gifts, but there is a gift coming to you. I feel like this gift is going to help you feel better or break you out of this funk or will help give you the information that you've been seeking or something that's gonna help you feel a little bit happier, okay? Spirit, four cards please for Virgo. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Virgo, four cards. You got the king of coins in the reverse. This is unstable, unqualified. Um, this is leaving a losing a job or losing some money. This is also um, no commitment. Three more cards. Queen of Coins. Well, well, well. Okay, Queen of Coins is abundant, is very, very good at her job, takes care of everyone around her, is very nurturing, is very stable and dependable. Maybe you were dealing with someone who was commitment phobic or was unstable. If you were, I feel like they may be coming back around or you could be hearing that they're sick. Two more cards, please, for Virgo. Ace of Cups. Woo, new love offer. Could be getting a gift from someone new. It's heavy earth energy here. Ace of Cups, new beginning in love. Oh my God, and the Ace of Wands, you're gonna meet someone new. I feel like you're either gonna meet someone new or you're gonna get a new job. Whatever has been having you feeling depressed and held back, it's all about to change. It's going to blow your mind. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, this is brand new. Brand new passion, brand new love, brand new excitement, inspiration left and right. You're about to, you're, don't worry about this cracked cup because the universe has what you need to get out of it. Don't even sweat it. Spirit, um, can you please clarify these cards here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please clarify these cards. Thank you. Why is the King of Coins here in reverse for Virgo? Why is the King of Coins here in reverse for Virgo? Two of Swords. Difficult decision, ignorance is bliss, not able to discuss one's feelings or express one's feelings. I feel like um, if any of you were dealing with a, like a husband, father, or like a committed partner, living partner, this person did not express their feelings well, they're not good with money, they don't take care of themselves or the people around you and you're trying to get out of that. You could also be dealing with someone who is non-committal because they couldn't decide between two people. Why is the queen of coins here for Virgo? Why is the queen of, oh. oh, there you go. You guys are gonna, work is not is gonna be good. I feel like money's gonna be good. You guys are gonna be very busy. Could be the season for you. I don't know what you do. I feel like you're gonna be hard at work. You're dedicated. You are excelling in your area or career of choice. Doing very well, do, doing very well. putting in the work, putting in the effort, dedication. That's why you're making the coins. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Virgo, please? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Seven of Cups, so you definitely um, feel like somebody here had their options and they're deciding to um, pick a cup. Also, Virgo, I feel like you could be dating in the near future or could just be shopping with your eyes, if you will. 
Um, I feel like there could be an opportunity for love, but I, for some of you, you may want to keep your options open. For some of you, I don't, I don't think you realize how many options you may have. Eight of coins and queen of coins can be so focused on work, especially with, you know, the pandemic and all that, where, you know, a lot of us are staying home a lot. Uh, maybe you don't realize how many options you have. And I feel like as soon as you kind of open your eyes and go out there and make yourself available, you're going to see. Um, but with the gift, the gift and the Ace of Cups, I feel like somebody could be expressing feelings to you. Um, and you could either be daydreaming about a future with them, like this has you very curious, or you could be deciding to keep your options open. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Virgo, please? Knight of Cups. Yep. Somebody's coming in to express their love. Um, I love that it's cups and wands. I have all four elements on the table, which I love to see in a reading. Um, I see somebody coming towards you. Somebody's very attracted to you and wants to express feelings. Um, they may feel like they don't have what it takes. King of coins reversed to the queen of coins. This person may feel like you are out of their league or like they don't have enough money or they don't have a high enough uh, paying job or you know, maybe because they've been divorced, or I don't know, but this person may feel like, I'm hearing She's So High by Tal Bachman. She's so high, high above me, she's so lovely, you get the point. Virgo, that's what I have for you. Um, I hope this reading helps, that sounds very exciting. I hope it resonates with you. It might not though, because this is a future prediction. But anyhow, like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Virgo, I love you. Thanks for being here and I will see you soon. Take care. Before we get started with Libra, I need to spray some Florida water on myself. Oh, there it is. And light some more incense. Libra, how's it going? I hope the holiday season is treating you well. You know, a lot of people are struggling right now. We're either missing someone or having to, you know, Libra, before we get started with your reading, I heard this saying once and I wanted to share it with you. There are only four causes of human suffering. The first is not getting what you want. The second is getting what you want, but not being satisfied with it. The third is having to miss someone you wish was with you. And the fourth is having to put up with the presence of someone you wish was not with you. I don't know why I feel compelled to share that with you, but there we are. Spirit, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards Libra? What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Three cards for Libra. Three cards for Libra. Frying pan, ring. Whoa, that's a lot. I'm not taking that. Oh, that one I will take. <laughs> oh, wow. Frying pan, trouble and accusations. Ring, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. And wishbone, a wish is granted. So if some of you guys have been wishing for an engagement or a marriage or a business partnership, that will be coming true. For others of you, this wish has is, is non-related. Um, but there are there's trouble and accusations. So I do feel like Libra, you could be in the hot seat coming up. Um, this could be about a marriage. This could be about a third party situation, some infidelity. I feel like you're gonna be getting your wish though. There's a wish being granted. Every time I see Wishbone, I think of that song, Stoned in the Nail Salon. Two cards please for Libra. Who or what is coming towards them? What does Libra need to know? You got message. So trouble accusations. I feel like somebody may find some messages. You may find some messages and be accusing, accusing someone. Someone else may find messages or there's a message coming in. One more. The message has something to do either with the frying pan, the trouble and accusations or this ring here. One more card for Libra, please. Expectation. Some of you guys are waiting for an answer. Maybe there was a proposal and someone's waiting for an answer or you're, somebody is waiting to see if someone, I'm getting, oh, this is so weird. You know, in a wedding when they're like, um, if anybody, you know, is against this marriage, you know, say something now or forever hold your peace. And I feel like someone, oh, now I'm seeing the scene from um, Grey's Anatomy where Jackson stands up. If you watch Grey's Anatomy, Jackson stands up and is like, April, you can't marry this guy. I'm in love with you. Holy shit. Uh, what just happened, Libra? This just got saucy. Expectations. Some, someone is waiting 
to hear from someone that they have big feelings for or waiting to hear about a business opportunity. Whatever you're waiting for, I feel like it's coming. Oh, that's so interesting. Oh my gosh. Is someone going to get married, but they're in love with someone else? Eep. Spirit, can we have four cards for Libra? Who or what is coming towards Libra? What do they need to know? Thank you. Six of Cups in the reverse. Could be having some child issues. Maybe somebody doesn't get along with someone's kid or someone. Um, this is nothing stays the same. It's not like it used to be. I feel like someone was trying to hold on to something here. Um, there's, a, there's a loss of innocence. There's a loss of... Um, integrity here six of six of cups it's no longer how it used to be it's no longer fond memories it's it's you know losing a child this could be um yikes three more cards for libra king of cups in reverse a loss of feelings a loss of romantic feelings falling out of love this is being emotionally manipulative this is also hiding feelings two more cards for libra Someone could be getting married for the kids or for stability, but they're not in love. They're in love with somebody else. Four of coins. Holding on to something or holding back. We'll get clarity. Someone here could be um, struggling with finances or trying to hold on to money, trying to secretly save some money. Or, I, But I feel like someone is holding on to something, re not just refusing to let it go. One more card for Libra, please. Three of swords. Pain, heartbreak, disappointment, betrayal. Let's clarify. Spirit, please clarify these cards. Why is the Six of Cups here in reverse for Libra? I feel like if someone's been trying to hold on to a marriage because of kids or money, um, they're going to lose it all. Like the three of this heartbreak. Like if it's dead and gone, let it go. Interesting, that came out right side up, but then it did a little spin, 10 of Pentacles in the reverse, and they're telling me to keep it. Um, something here is over. It's no longer practical. It's no longer stable. Um, somebody here wanted it to be, this was like a childhood dream, right? Like This is like, I'm going to meet the love of my life. We're going to get married, have two and a half kids, a dog, and a white picket fence. And it didn't play out that way. And it's like, somebody doesn't want to let it go. Somebody is staying stuck in the past because they, they had expectations of how it should be and it's not playing out that way and they refuse to this person like will not relent is like nope they're being so stubborn somebody here is not going with the flow why is the king of cups here in reverse oh look at that feeling trapped feeling stuck but keeping yourself stuck the eight of swords is her she is look at how loosely bound she is she could wiggle out of that she could shimmy out of that just by blinking her eyes okay but somebody is staying willingly stuck, knowing damn well that they don't feel the way that they used to, or knowing damn well that somebody else does not love them. Why is the four of coins here for Libra? This is interesting, guys. King of swords. Cutting something or someone off or out. This is making a head over heart decision. This is using logic. This is communication. A logical decision, conversation. Could be a judge, could be an elder. Could also be two options here. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like there's definitely two options. It could definitely be two options here. I feel like um, with one, there's like messaging one, and then, oh, this is so weird. Three of swords, and uh, why is the three of swords here for Libra? Yeah, somebody wanted to keep their options open. Somebody was confused. Somebody was doing a little shopping. Three of Swords. I almost feel like somebody wanted to be found out. Is it Libra? I'm getting that somebody here did not want to be the one to decide to end a situation, so they basically made it to where the other person would end it. Like this, like somebody here got sloppy so that the other person would end it. Wow. That's um really something. I don't love that energy, but I'm not here to judge. I don't know if it's you or your other person, but I do feel like marriage is at the center of it. So the reason I say that is because wish is granted. I feel like somebody knew that this was gonna happen and they were like, okay, I'll deal with the pain, but at least I didn't have to make the, the final cut. Wow. Libra, that is what I have for you. I hope that reading helps. Um, I wish you all the best. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so that I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Libra, I love you. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, let me give these a shuffle before we start with Scorpio. Looks 
good to me. All right, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see who or what is coming towards you, what you need to know. Scorpio. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? What do they need to know? Three cards, please. You got two. You got Tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. You got Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So you could be celebrating a new commitment, new union, new opportunity, new job. One more card, please, for Scorpio. What do they need to know? I'm hearing that song, it's the holiday season. So whoop de doo whatever the fucking words are, I don't know. New things, new paths and opportunities are opening up for you, Scorpio. That's exciting. And you're celebrating, you're having fun, enjoying life. What do we have? Oh, rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So someone here can't keep their dipper in the zipper. <laughs> Scorpio, I feel like somebody here is just too concerned with sex. It may be getting in the way. Some of you could be meeting new partner. Oh, I don't know. That is um, very saucy. Let's see who or what is coming towards Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Spirit, two cards for Scorpio. You got high honor. Somebody here, here could be retiring, could be um, honored in the military or at their job. This is like a commencement. Somebody could be graduating college or graduating something. Somebody's getting a high honor. So if you're graduating, it would be like magna cum laude, um, summa cum laude, something like that. One more card for Scorpio, please. And you got courtship. Okay, so I feel like there's a new courtship opportunity here. Somebody is courting you or you are courting someone. Um, so some person here in this courtship could be too concerned with sex, um, either wanting to have it too soon or not wanting to have it. Maybe they're scared or maybe, I don't know, but there's, there's too much focus on it. doesn't mean there's too much sex happening. It just means that somebody's too focused on it. Um, new, new, new. I'm seeing, um, promotion at work. I'm seeing, this is, this is a lot of really good stuff for you, Scorpio. You're having fun. Oh, Page of Cups was in reverse, flipped out, so I don't know if somebody's got a kid or somebody maybe is getting some bad news, but that was from the last reading, so I won't even act like that's for you. Spirit, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Four cards. Scorpio. Look at that. Ten of Swords in reverse. This is the end of pain. This is coming out of a very painful situation. This is healing. This is re release and forgiveness. This is also coming out of betrayal. I don't know if somebody was betrayed here, but this is the end of it, the end of suffering. Three more cards, please. Healing. Also, um, I don't know if somebody passed away, Ten of Swords in reverse, um, but there, it's like I'm seeing like a military funeral here, so I don't know if maybe we're celebrating life, celebrating somebody's life. We're just missing them, anyways. Chariot, Cancer Energy, fast forward movement, moving quickly into the future, divinely supported fast forward movement. Somebody could be moving homes very quickly. This would be very quickly. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. This is um, how much more can I take? This is um, trust issues. Um, somebody here may be feeling uh, in a courtship situation, Scorpio, either you or your person, um, just very guarded, very wounded, uh, maybe triggered. One more card, please, for Scorpio. Thank you. Five of coins in reverse. Some of you guys are too focused on sex or sex or um, love and not focused enough on money. I do see that uh, Scorpio, some of you could be dealing with some financial issues or feeling neglected or a lack mentality. Now, because five of coins is under the rabbit, I do feel like maybe somebody is withholding love, withholding um, in physical intimacy. I feel like one person here could be um, like really wanting it, it. And the other person's like, I'm not ready. Um, so somebody feels like they're they're being neglected or abandoned. That's not for everybody. Spirit, can you please clarify these cards for Scorpio? Thank you. Why is the Ten of Swords here in reverse for Scorpio? Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Fool, Aries energy. Yeah, um, completely releasing old pain, completely forgiving someone and starting over. This is releasing the past, no longer carrying the pain, no longer telling the same old tired ass stories, no longer, you know, carrying that burden of those 10 of swords around with you. This is release. This is starting over, starting from scratch. 
Some of you could quite possibly be moving to a different area, city, state, country. The Fool, starting over. Why is the Chariot here for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Tell me more about the Chariot. Thank you. Four of Cups in reverse. So this is no longer being rejected, no longer being forgotten about. This is no longer waiting, no longer being bored. Somebody here is taking their power back, is moving forward. Um, I do feel like maybe something from before fell through or something wasn't available before. Maybe someone wasn't interested before and now that is changing. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Scorpio, please? Thank you. Ace of Cups. Look at that, new love new expression of love, new opportunity for love. This is um, someone loving someone through their pain, hurt, trauma, betrayal. Like this is someone loving, someone is healing from someone else's love. Like someone's giving you love, Scorpio, and it's healing you, or you're giving them a healing love. Why is the five of coins here? King of wands, uh-huh, this is very sexual. Somebody is taking it as a hit to their ego that somebody doesn't want to connect physically yet or um, also for some of you guys, I feel like, um, if you need more money, some of you guys could be going into business and it could quite possibly have something to do with sex. Okay. You could be, you know, um, I won't go into it, but you could be definitely entering that field. King of wands is very driven, ambitious. I do feel like, um, someone here needs to be more focused on matters of the heart and the mind than matters of the genitals. Also, I feel like money could use some extra attention as well. But the beautiful thing is, is you have new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up as we speak, okay? There's gonna be reason to celebrate and have fun and enjoy. There's, I mean, shoot, too much concern with sexual matters, at least somebody's concerned with sex, you know what I mean? Some people ain't getting nothing. So, and if you aren't getting anything and it bothers you, maybe dig, you know, do some digging as to why it's bothering you so much. But anyways, I see, I see a lot of really exciting energy for you, Scorpio, but I feel like it's going to take some grace and, um, you know, dropping a little bit of the ego and pride. We all do it. Every single one. It's human nature. So Scorpio, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for future readings. As always, I love you. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, Sagittarius. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Sagittarius? What do they need to know? Three cards, please, for Sag. Two more. Sagittarius. I'm hearing the song Hard Habit to Break. I think that's by Chicago. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. So Saji, some of you need to or will be taking a vacation, either checking out mentally <laughs> or um, going, actually going out of town. Pleasure with a close friend. So some of you guys will be spending time with a very close friend and deriving pleasure from that. Could actually be a dog, could be getting a dog. Table, hard work ahead. So um, I do feel like maybe at work or in the family, there is hard work ahead for you. I don't know if you're going to be having to literally put together furniture. Maybe someone's expecting a child and they have to put together a crib or someone's moving and they have to order a bunch of furniture and do all the logistics and details or somebody's at work and they have, or they're at a conference table and they have to negotiate. There is hard work ahead. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Sagittarius? What do they need to know? The old kipper out. Woo! Pathway. So you've got a new opportunity, a new option coming your way. Also, I'm hearing um, Thy Word by Amy Grant. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That is a Bible verse. Um, I feel like some of you guys are relying on spirituality, especially with the butterflies here. I'm seeing that you have ancestors and spirit guides that are, gu that are guiding your path. If you feel like you're on a path that is not the right path, um, I feel like you're right. And the path that you're supposed to be on is the one that feels like you'll know, like intuitively, um, Sagittarius, I feel like you'll know, but uh, you could have a new opportunity coming your way. One more card, please. Also, I see um, if you are gonna take a vacation, it's somewhere with like nature paths and trails and hiking, so you may really like being out outdoors. Um, also, I feel like if some of you guys are going out on a nature path, and it doesn't have to be on vacation, but I feel like some of you guys are gonna be spending more time in nature, you could come upon a cluster of butterflies, like three to six, and I feel like that those that's your people, like those are your ancestors. Some of you guys have lost um, a really good friend or a family member, could be a sibling, a parent, um, and I feel like this person, you see butterflies, I feel like that's that person, especially if they're yellow and orange. I'm just 
that was a channeled message. That's not going to be for everybody. One more card, please. Somebody may have had a butterfly tattoo or does. One more card for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Thank you. All right, Sagittarius, one more card. Thank you. Unexpected income, outstanding. Some of you guys could be experiencing unexpected income um, due to your hard work. Maybe some of you guys are plowing ahead during the holiday season. You're putting in extra work when most people are relaxing and resting. You are not. Um, also, I feel like this unexpected income could put you into a new tax bracket. That's not for all of you. Pathway and unexpected income. If there's a new pathway or a new opportunity, romantic or professional, I believe it's going to bring you more money or make your financial life a little bit more stable or less stressful. You could have a business opportunity with a close, close friend. Spirit, can we have four cards for Sagittarius who or what is coming towards them? What does Sagittarius need to know? Whoa, I'm not taking all of those, but thank you. I did see the Hierophant. So some of you guys could be um, doing some higher learning at this time or spending a lot of time focusing on your spirituality or you could be dealing with um, a, like a committed relationship. I'm hearing elders. So I don't know if somebody's dealing with elders in their religion or in their spirituality or in the church or in the family. Elders is what I'm hearing. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four cards, please. What do they need to know? Who or what is coming towards them? Sagittarius. Queen of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of confidence, lack of ambition, lack of drive. This could also be releasing a third-party situation. Fire sign. Five of Cups. Very, very sad. Regret. Sorrow. Hmm. Stuck on the past. Two more cards for Sagittarius, please. Knight of Coins, stable. Oh, there's that unexpected income. This could be slow but steady. This is stable and cautious. Um, one more card, please. Five of Swords, hostile. Um, could be needing to defend yourself. Could be saying some really sharp things or dealing with someone who has a sharp tongue. This is winning at all costs. Be cautious that in order to get what you want, whether it's a raise or a position or um, a relationship, that you do not do something you will later regret, okay? Spirit, please clarify these cards for Sagittarius. Please clarify these cards for Sagittarius. Spirit, why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse for Sagittarius? Some of you guys are taking a break. I feel like you were in, uh, involved with a fire sign, another fire sign, so Aries, Leo, or Sag. And I feel like you guys are taking a break from each other. Why is the Queen of Wands here in reverse for Sagittarius? This does feel like it could have been a third party situation. Seven of Cups, someone wanted to keep their options open or someone was confused so they left a situation or they're leaving a situation. Three of Wands. I feel like um, this is that back and forth energy I've been pulling on you guys for fucking weeks if not months anticipation, ready to move forward, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for, it's like someone's hung up on the three of cups here and someone's here with the three of wands. Could have definitely been a third party situation here with the queen of wands in reverse, but I feel like someone's waiting for someone to come back or come back around. I'm hearing when I come around by green day. I don't know why, because I can't stand green day. Why is the knight of coins here? Four of cups in reverse. Somebody does, somebody's afraid of rejection, doesn't want to be rejected or ignored. So they're coming in slowly. Also, I feel like um, if this is a dating or love situation, somebody here is trying to um, be uh, ha, offer more than the others so that they don't get rejected because I know that somebody here is keeping their options open, whether it's the Queen of Wands or you. Ace of Pentacles, look at that. What did I just say? There's the money. Money's coming in. Somebody's making tough decisions based on um, stability, based on money, based on their future. I feel like you're going to have a new opportunity, financial opportunity or commitment. Um, maybe it's something you got passed up for before and you're no longer going to be passed up for it. Could be an opportunity, a job, a relationship. Somebody could have cut you out before or ignored you or broken your heart. And I feel like this person is coming back around. But I feel like um, whoever's coming back around... Um, you may have sharp words for them, Sagittarius, or switch the roles. Also, I feel like um, this close friend, if this is a back and forth situation, Sagittarius, I feel like you're going to tell somebody about it and they're going to be like, oh my God, again. Um, remember what happened last time. So you could have 
um, someone here that's trying to remind you of maybe why this didn't work out in the past. That's for love, for work. Um, I feel like you guys are getting a new promotion or a raise or a new opportunity and, and it just totally could involve moving. Wow, that's a lot of information. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Sagittarius, I love you. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, next up we have Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Capricorn? What do they need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, you got flowers. This talks about happiness. You got owl, good advice from a wise person. One more card for Capricorn, please. Capricorn. I'm only gonna take the one that landed up, right? And that is horse. Short journey. So some of you guys could have a commute to, uh, like a long commute to work, or the, you're starting a short journey that's not permanent, it's not long lasting. I'm gonna look, but I'm not gonna keep it rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over and good fortune. So some of you guys have been dealing with some, some hard shit lately and it's about to get better. Um, something did not last as long as you had hoped, but that's the way it was supposed to be. You're gonna get good advice from a wise person and you will be happy. Happiness is coming your way. Some of you guys don't remember what it's like to be happy. I'm, I'm hearing that. It's like happiness, what is that? It's like a foreign concept. Spirit, two cards for Capricorn. What do they need to know? Who or what is coming towards them? Capricorn. Thank you. Main male and imprisonment. In reverse, though, I'm going to keep it. So either someone in your life could be a um, baby daddy, husband, father, friend, boss, partner, whatever, um, could either be going to jail or getting out of jail. Also, this doesn't have to mean actual jail. Um, this could be a man breaking free of a situation he felt trapped in. I feel like this is going to come after some good advice. Someone here is choosing their pain. Uh, someone here is deciding that the pain of leaving the situation is far less than the pain of staying in the situation. Someone here is deciding they want to be single or they want to start over. Someone here is deciding they want to be their own boss. Um, someone here is deciding that they want to be uh, the author of their own story and they want to be in charge of their happiness. Someone is taking their power back and I do feel like uh, the discomfort that comes from breaking free of the situation, Capricorn, is going to be a short journey, but it's going to pay off and it's going to be, it's a very, very, very good move, whatever that means for you. Spirit, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Who or what is coming towards Capricorn? What do they need to know? Interesting. See the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like somebody could be um, planning something in silence. Uh, Eight of Swords is also a imprisonment, imprisonment card. Somebody's feeling trapped and they're, they're trying to escape or trying to get out. Yeah, this is, this is an ending. It's like, I can't stay stuck here. I can't stay here. This has got to end. Someone here, um, there's like a karmic cycle that's been completed. It's a karmic contract that's been completed. So it's like once you stay in something that's been going on for too long, it's like you've already overstayed your welcome or that it's already lasted longer than it was supposed to. It's gonna cause nothing but pain and complication. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius and have that in your chart. And it's, it's time, divine timing, it's time. It's finally time. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, somebody feels stuck. Uh, this is a delay. Somebody wanted to offer love, but they couldn't yet. Okay, four cards please for Capricorn. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Thank you. Two, three of cups in reverse. Could have been a third party situation. This could also be a friend disguised, sorry, an enemy disguised as a friend. This could be losing friends and family because of a decision. Somebody may be following their own happiness, Capricorn, and I feel like it's you and you may lose some friends or family because of it. I'm hearing disowned. Three more cards for Capricorn, please. Knight of Swords, yeah. Swift decision, logical decision, fast moving energy. This is... Um, contacting someone this is reaching out this is communication could be reckless sometimes two more cards for capricorn page of wands good news passionate tech uh, I, mean, I almost said passionate text messages this is passionate communication with someone this could involve a child meaning like there's a child either you have a kid or they have a kid or you're expecting a kid um fire sign energy there's going to be communication here um i feel like this could be good news somebody may want to go on a date or somebody may be flirting one more card for Capricorn. 
could hear news about a child, King of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords. I feel like somebody maybe had a hard time expressing their feelings in the past about love. Somebody felt um, like they couldn't fully express or, <clears throat> excuse me, hear my throat closing up when I'm talking about not able to fully express. <clears throat> Um, someone is breaking free from a situation that had them, um, kept them at a level. Somebody has kept themselves small. Somebody has not been speaking their truth. Somebody has been letting other things make their mind up besides them, like their own logic. Like someone here has not been listening to themselves. They've been listening to other people. But this good friend is going to give you some advice. And all of a sudden you're going to find the power to break free. King of Swords cuts things and people out, ends things. Okay, let's clarify your cards and then we'll move on. Spirit, please clarify these, court, ew, these cards for Capricorn. Okay, I did see the Four of Wands. This could be dealing with a home situation or a marriage. Why is the Three of Cups here in reverse for Capricorn, please? That's going to drive me nuts. Why is the Three of Cups here in reverse for Capricorn, please? Hanged Man. Could be dealing with a Pisces. This is being a martyr. This is self-sacrificing. This is also waiting around. Someone has been waiting, waiting, waiting. Someone has been sacrificing their own happiness for the sake of not losing. Um, someone's reputation. I feel like someone valued their reputation more than their happiness. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Someone was willing to self-sacrifice. Knight of Cups in reverse. I don't know if that came out right side up or upside. I look like, I think it came up right side up and then it kind of turns. So I'm going to put it right side up. Knight of Cups. This is a love offer. This is, um, we have two knights here and I feel like someone's talking about their feelings. Someone is going to be coming in and talking about their feelings or you will be expressing your feelings to someone. Why is the page of wands here for um, Capricorn, please? Why is the page of wands here for Capricorn? Four of Swords. So this could be after a period of silence. Maybe someone has withdrawn their energy. Someone needed to heal. Someone needed to sit with the truth. Someone needed to sit with the, the heartache. Three of Swords is pain and the Ace of Swords is, is um, you know, the one sword under here. It's like someone was sitting with the pain before they were ready to talk. But I feel like now's the time. Um, they're ready to make a passionate uh, move, whether it's you or your person. There's a there's some passionate communication coming in, but this is after a period of silence, after a period of recovery. Somebody could also be re um, recovering from a surgical procedure here. Why is the King of Swords here for Capricorn? Or injections, like back injections? Um, the Hierophant. This is ending a committed relationship. This is um, a loveless marriage or union. This is also seeking qualified guidance. This is good advice from a wise person. This could be an elder in your church. This could be straight from source. This is a connection to source, a connection to God. Someone here could just be getting, um, getting information straight from God. Some of you could be, um, like I said, ending a relationship, ending a commitment, deciding it, your heart's not in it. Oh my breaking free, emotionally detached, tired of sacrificing oneself, messages of love after some quiet. I do feel like I really do. I'm, I'm, for some of you, this is work and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just getting really strong love. I feel like someone here wants to express love or um, passion to someone, but one of those people was stuck in a situation before, whether it was a marriage, loveless marriage, somebody was staying for the kids, staying for the money, whatever, blah, 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 staying because they didn't want to lose friends and family. They didn't want to be disgraced. They didn't want people to look down on them. There were standards and expectations. I don't know, but I feel like that's ending. Capricorn, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Capricorn, I love you very much. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, next up we have Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? The month of May, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. Whoa, that didn't take long. Dark woman and success. So you're going to be dealing with a woman with dark hair or complexion. Could be born in the month of May or something happened in the month of May. And success. There will be success. I feel like it's financial success. Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know? Who or what is coming towards them? Two cards, please, for Aquarius. Main male, same as Capricorn. Some of you guys could be on the cusp 
of Capricorn. One more card for Aquarius, please. And Distant Horizons. Some of you guys could be traveling, moving, traveling for work, going on a cruise, taking a vacation, learning about history or other world cultures, um, learning a new language. Could be traveling with this dark haired woman, or like I said, traveling for work. Some of you guys also have maybe felt weighed down or anchored down and you're, you're releasing the anchor and you're gonna be traveling now, uh, either metaphorically or actually, I don't know. Spirit, can we have four cards for Aquarius? Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's a lot of cards. Somebody here is scared to, to like scared to take a chance, scared to start over. Four cards for Aquarius. We have the Queen of Coins in reverse. Queen of Coins in reverse is a lack of abundance. A, um, so, uh, this is a, a person not knowing their value. This is someone who's not very good with money. Three more cards. Two of Coins in reverse. Woo, six of Swords in reverse. I feel like there's been some travel restrictions. Can't afford it, don't have the time. King of coins in reverse, wow. I feel like there could be a long-term committed relationship that is ending here. King and queen of coins both in reverse, or both of you are not good with money or struggling financially. Maybe both of you lost your job. Um, two of coins in reverse talks about juggling, um, not being able to juggle successfully. This also talks about having too much on your plate, not being flexible. This is playing a game. Six of Swords in reverse is not able or not willing to move forward or move on. Somebody wants to, but there's a big old anchor here. Big old anchor. I don't know what that anchor is, but it's holding somebody back from traveling. Could be the pandemic, could be this dark woman, could be a Taurus or a Gemini, could be a, a marriage, a love, like a unstable relationship instability, lots of in, unstable energy here. King of coins in reverse, not committed, not abundant, unstable, broke, undependable. Hmm. Interesting. Let's clarify these cards for Aquarius, please. Why is the queen of coins here in reverse? Thank you, spirit. Why is the queen of coins here in reverse for Aquarius? Thank you. Page of Swords, it flew out upright and then spun. Page of Swords, this is spying, this is curious, this is messages, communication. Uh, let me pull more cards and I'll read the story. Why is the Two of Coins here in reverse? Somebody could be reading some self-help books or, or doing some research online trying to figure out how to get out of a mess. Look at that Ten of Coins in reverse. Yeah, there could have also been um, another, like a third party here. Maybe somebody found some messages or somebody was sloppy when they were trying to juggle. I'm just saying. Why is the Six of Swords here in reverse? Yeah, there's, there's no stability here. There's no commitment. This is not long-term. It's not working out. Six of Cups. Oh, are we unable to move past this because of how it used to be? Someone's stuck in their memory. Someone's like, oh, but in the past it was good. Well, it's not good anymore. Also, somebody could be staying for the kids, unwilling or unable to move forward because of the kids. Why is the king of coins here in reverse? You guys know what I say about staying in a situation for kids. I think it's the dumbest thing you could ever do. That's my opinion. And this is my channel and I can share my opinion. I divorced someone with a kid. It was the best thing we could have done for ourselves. We're still great friends, but it just, it is what it is. Um, if you're a happy parent, your child will be happier. You can give Listen, your kid is gonna get whatever you give them. So are you gonna give them broke and unhappy and unstable or are you gonna give them something successful? I don't know. Divine timing is at work here. There's a Sagittarius in the picture. Um, could be you or could be somebody else, but I feel like um, we need to try a new approach. What we've done in the past is no longer working for us, right? Aquarius, um, I feel like there's a need for optimism. There's a need for trust. There's a need for trying a new approach there's a need to ditch one thing that maybe you're emotionally attached to for your own success. Because right now what you're in is not successful. It is not committed, it's not long-term, and it's not stable. It could be, but something has to give, something has to change, and some, some, something's gotta go. 
And I feel like, um, you know, number one main male, I feel like you got to look out for yourself. Not saying you're a male. I'm just saying that's like the number one card, right? Look, look out for number one. Um, and you got to get rid of this anchor so that you can travel and move forward because I see that that's what you really want to do, but you feel like you can't. And I feel like in order to achieve success, you've got to lift that anchor up and move towards it. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Aquarius, I love you. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, Pisces, let's see what you brought me today. This is for Pisces spirit, sun, moon, rising of Venus. This is for Pisces. We have career. So your career will, will be, uh, you'll either be changing careers or your career will be taking off or you will be starting a new career, launching a business, starting to work from home or going back to the office. Two more cards for Pisces. Okay. Clouds, temporary problems. Womp womp. And funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. I think Libra got these as well. Um, so it could be issues with your career. Maybe somebody here doesn't know what they want to do or somebody doesn't know how to get out of something or build something or start something new. But there are lessons to be learned here in this period of frustration. So don't let the frustration and the temporary problems um, convince you that they're permanent because they're not. They're temporary. Everything is temporary, even success. Spirit, um, give us two cards for Pisces. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Two cards for Pisces. Thank you. You got community. Some of you could be working with the community or doing community service. Others of you could feel like you don't fit in with the people around you. Maybe you want to move. Also, there could be like small town gossip here. Marriage. Woo. Marriage. Maybe somebody is experiencing some problems in their marriage right now. Somebody could have felt pressure from the community to get married or pressured like standards and expectations. Uh, maybe somebody rushed into something and now they're feeling um, frustrated and there are problems and somebody here is focusing on their career or needs to focus on their career. Spirit, can you please give us four cards for what Pisces needs to know? Who or what is coming towards Pisces? Who or what? Ten of Swords in the reverse. This is releasing any old emotional baggage, releasing pain, releasing betrayal, and forgiving. This is no longer carrying the pain with you, and this is no longer telling the same sad-ass, tired-ass story. We all do it. We all do it. Three more cards for Pisces. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? I also feel like um, the community could be... Um, Coming together, I feel like if, if you don't know how you're going to move forward or how you're going to get out of a marriage or how you're going to get out of a career, career or whatever, I feel like you've got people around you or like a tribe. I'm hearing tribe or a village that can help you. Three more cards for Pisces, please. Okay. The moon could be dealing with another Pisces or a cancer, but this is secrets. This is hidden stuff. This is uh, delusions. This is difference in communication. This is... Um, you know, things are not as they seem. Things are coming out. Knight of coins in reverse. Unstable, not committed, not long-term. Not abundant. One more card. King of swords. Yeah, if Pisces, I feel like you're cutting someone out of your life that either kept secrets from you or was unstable or not committed. And instead of carrying around the burden of resentment and pain, you're releasing them and forgiving them. Some of you are doing this in silence. Some of you are doing this without getting closure from this person. You're just doing it. All right, Spirit, this is for Pisces. Can you please clarify these cards? This is for Pisces. Please clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Why is that here? Ten of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Three of Pentacles. So this talks about community. This talks about um, therapy. This talks about, um, you know, getting someone else's perspective or opinion. This is going to see a qualified expert. So some of you could definitely be going to therapy for your pain, for your trauma. I think that's a great call. Um, others of you could have been hurt by a third party situation. Um, some of you are feeling like um, maybe in your career you're going to have to team up with people at work, like a group kind of situation, or there's like a, a new boss, a new sheriff in town. Why is the moon here? 
Three of Pentacles also talks about collaboration and teamwork makes the dream work. So that kind of, in your career, I feel like that mentality will serve you. Why is the moon here for Pisces, please? If one more card falls on the floor, I've been having back spasms for days, can we not? Um, ooh, secret feelings, hidden emotions. Somebody was keeping their feelings hidden or you were. Maybe somebody had feelings for someone else and was keeping it a secret. Why is the Knight of Coins here for Pisces? Six of Swords, yeah, I feel like you're moving away from this unstable, non-committed, you know, um, could quite possibly be marriage or an engagement or a living situation. Maybe this is somebody that at one time you thought you could spend the rest of your life with, you thought y'all's families could blend, you thought it would be one way and it just has not turned out to be that way and you're releasing it. Why is the King of Swords here? And moving forward, moving out of chaos into calm. Why is the King of Swords here for Pisces, please? You do have two kings here on the table, so this definitely could have been third party or you could already have another option. Nine of Wands, King of Swords, Nine of Wands. Um, this is like talking about withdrawing emotionally or being emotionally detached because you're scared of being hurt. Um, I feel like whatever period of frustration you're gonna be going through, make sure you take just the lessons. Don't take the, like try not to hold on to the pain. Try not to make it, try not to let it turn you cold. Um, also, I feel like you're going to be making really, really difficult decisions, but you're going to be struggling with it. Like you're going to feel really guarded and like unsure of yourself. And this is saying you need to be very sure of yourself. Trust your gut. Trust um, advice from qualified people, therapists, elders, people you trust. Focus on your career and remember nothing is permanent. Not the problems, not the frustration not marriage, nothing is permanent, okay? Pisces, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Pisces, as always, I love you very much. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here today for another All Signs reading. I will see you guys soon for another one. Remember, if you wanna book me for a private reading, my email address is below and I will see you soon. Take care.